Renee, you're so lovely. Good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling? I know you're so good. Well. Good. Can I call you honey Early on TV? Early wake up, but good. <laughs> can, can you call her honey on TV? You've already called her on air. Well, you and called her hot literally? tamale. She is. On air. <laughs> I mean, come on. She really called you hot tamale. Being honest. I didn't hear that part, but now yeah. I'm blushing. Yeah. <laughs> morning, Renee, though. Morning. We're glad to have you Thank here. Thank you. Michael yeah. said it's taken you four years to come on air. Finally. It's, it's been a while. He's yeah. been persistent. What, what's been stopping you? Um. <laughs> You fear, right? <laughs> fear, yeah. fear, yeah, fear. right. Just blatant fear. Uh -huh. I think you like have I to embrace see you it every day. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. I feel like we're down home with the Henricks right now, you exactly. know, instead of the Neelys. <laughs> right. So we're making holiday yumminess. We are. Um, we are making today some gingerbread crepes. We're going to make the batter, and then I already have some prepared with a kind of uh, crepe. Topping bar. The filling. Nice. All right. Filling I'm excited. We have variety. Yeah. So what do you have already so in here? In here we have the drying, some dry ingredients. Here's um, flour, sugar, and salt. And then we're going to add the gingerbread seasonings. Um, this is cinnamon, cloves, ginger, uh, cocoa powder for dark, for the dark coloring, and then um, nutmeg. And everything's so we're better add that in. with cocoa powder. Right, exactly. Right. Yeah. And I mean, nutmeg. That's one yeah. of my favorite holiday yeah. spices. And you're not messing around. You do fresh nutmeg. I do. I do. Really? Well, when oh. I have time. If I'm in a really big rush, then I'll just use the already ground stuff. But Oh, that smells so good. You it smell like Yeah. Oh, it does. always. Mm. And that, oh. My whole car smelled like this. I brought this <laughs> in early for it. Yeah. And so, um, and yeah, it's cool. You use that microfiche thing to grate yep. it, right? Yep. Okay. The microplane, yep. And microplane, then, right. So microfiche is for research. All right. So what do we have now? Here? We're going to move on to the wet ingredients. ingredients. This is milk, eggs, and um, vanilla, and then we're just going to add the two together. Well, I should probably beat the eggs a little bit first, but then add the two ingredients together, and just mix them a little bit now. And then we have two more special ingredients to add that make it super special and super holiday y. All right. That's a word, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. holiday y. I like it. Yeah. So you, we have some You watched me. I say much worse things. We have All some right. melted butter. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Of course. Good, so. that, that was inspired by Paula Dean, yeah. right? <laughs> right. And then better we have with butter. <laughs> molasses. Ah. Uh, that really enhances the gingerbread flavor. I love it. And that has nothing to do with those ads that we saw yesterday on air, right? Yeah, she didn't get that from Crosby's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have a constant debate in our house about mixing versus over mixing. Right, now, so you accuse me of being a cereal over mixer. Yes, I do. Explain what that means. Um, well, for things like cakes, you don't want to over mix, and it's okay to have um, lumps in the batter because. I don't know why, but it is okay. <laughs> That's what they tell us. Right. People think that's uh, you're right. But so you don't over mix. But for Still something batter in there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but for something like this, that it's going to be a really thin pancake, the lumps will kind of be more obvious. So you do want to mix it a little bit more, so there's not a lot of lumps. Okay. And we'll fast forward now. Okay. We'll fast, fast forward. forward for time purposes, and you take what you you have. A pan about this size, this is, right? Yeah, this is the pan I like to use. A lot of times crepes are bigger, but if you do it at home, I think it's a lot easier to use a small pan for small crepes because flipping when it's a big crepe is really hard. Okay. okay. So what if you have a like a flat griddle, could you do that and maybe have? Well, the thing is, you have to like twirl it, so that would oh, be difficult. Yeah, you're right. With you're the, right. So it's a little different than laying down a pancake. Right, yeah, because you do, you have to twirl it yeah, right. Yeah, might as well. Okay. okay. You put in, I use about a fourth cup, but um, I do less. I use a fourth cup measuring spoon, but I do less. And then you immediately have to kind of twirl it. Gotcha. And it's hard because it's not on a flame, so the pan's not hot, but normally it will cover the pan pretty quickly okay. and easily. And it That's cooks quickly. That's why they're so thin. Yes, yep. And then yeah. it cooks quickly too. You said 45 seconds to a minute on the first side. Yep. And then you flip it, and then it's only about a half minute on the second side. So it goes really quickly. Okay. Yeah. Now let's do si do. All right. This is the fun part. Yeah. This is yeah. Let's <laughs> put our crepes together. Okay. Here are the crepes I made, and then over here is the eggnog whipped topping, mm -hmm. whipped, whipped cream, which I love. It's so good. It's. Did um, you make this? I did. I did. It's just whipping cream, eggnog bought from a store, and then a little bit of added sugar. So that is really good. And then um, the traditional Nutella with bananas option, and then also some sliced <laughs> almonds. Sliced Does he do this at home? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. There's no reason to wait. You can yeah. keep explaining while I eat. 
<laughs> that's what we do at home. That's what most men do. Yeah, you're right. Sliced almonds for crunch, and then some cranberries if you want a little chewy tartness. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so let's make it. Let's make it. What What do you suggest, Nick? I would. Well, I'm interested actually to see how. Sure, you okay. can make one. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm interested to see how like a uh, Nutella crepe with the eggnog whipped cream on top. Okay. And they're also frisbees. Thank you. No, I'm kidding. So, so what would I lay down the Nutella first? Yeah, obviously. And just put it on that, uh, like a half of it. Oh, so we can fold it? Uh, yeah, you okay. want to fold it over. I like, I like a lot it. of. Oh, yeah, keep going. More. That was not enough, China. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of people think that, you know, you hear crepes and it's so fancy, right. and you don't realize how attainable this is. I mean, it's doable. Right, and especially mm -hmm. this is kind of a fancier crepe um, because it's gingerbread. Now, if you're just making a regular crepe, you know, you're not going to use all those, you know, the ginger and all that stuff or the molasses. So it's really quicker to make, it's really quick to make just a regular Yeah, crepe and you know, batter. you're exactly right too, Michael. I, I never made crepes at home because I just thought, oh, that's going to be too hard. Mm -hmm. And you always see on TV and they use these special, special spatulas all those, yeah. and all those smoothie and, things. Yeah, it's like you don't need all you that. You don't need to be fancy. Yeah, John. Come on. John, come make one. And, and Nay, while we're, we're running out of time, so can you go through these other sure. ones too? We okay. have these here. You can stay here if we'll all slide over. Oh, sorry. You can stay in the light. Um, okay, so this Even is just you radiate a, little, light, darling. a little puff pastry tree. Um, it's store-bought <laughs> puff pastry layered with the little stars going mm -hmm. smaller. Mm -hmm. um, and I layered it with some lime curd because I heard China likes her lime. Oh, I love <laughs> mm -hmm. lime. Thank you, Renee. You're Nene. welcome. Should I not be saying that? <laughs> no, no, no. You call her Renee, right? <laughs> right? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is um, chocolate covered candy canes. And I just think they're really cute and they're a great thing for the kiddos to do. Um, mm -hmm. You just melt chocolate, white chocolate, dark chocolate, whatever you like, and put some sprinkles on them. And let them dry. And we give them to the preschool teachers this year, yep, right? Yep, yep. It's a really great gift idea if you want to just mm. put it with a mug and like a little mm. baggie of marshmallows and um, hot chocolate mix. Michael is nice. spoiled. Renee, this is mm -hmm. delicious. So, how did it feel? Fun. Four years I've been asking you, felt good, right? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Next Food Network star? Not quite. So, we'll so no. cool see you next Tuesday, then, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is so, so good, Renee. How about every Thursday? How, every Thursday? Well, yeah, Liz Fowler has dibs on Tuesday. Tuesdays. She'll be so back Thursdays. next Tuesday okay. with Savory Sweet. John, you find us a babysitter. It's early in the morning, and I'll be here. <laughs> well, I like done. having the kids in the newsroom. Yeah. It's fine with me. Yeah, it is fine. And I don't know if it's fine with Shannon. We'll see. But hey, all these measurements, you didn't hear us say the measurements. That's because they're online. If you go to northwestohio.com slash blogs, since I knew the chef, I had uh, early access to these recipes. They're already posted. Check it out, and we'll post this clip, too, if you want to see her make it again in just a little bit. Mm. Thanks, honey. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. 619. We'll be right back.